Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3, where, uh, reaching level 20 with everyone has started to unlock more slots for everybody. Um, that's pretty awesome! I hadn't noticed uh, that this was happening, so holy crap. Uh, let's adjust my, uh, yeah, let's just do the auto build for everybody, because, um, well, this is pretty damn sweet. And then we can also check out Ethel here. Uh, Ethel is a flash fencer. An attacker pressuring foes with a dual sword style and felling them in short, vicious bouts. Interesting. So she's got... What, what are the two arts that she doesn't have right now? Ooh, boosts auto attack and art speed, but also raises damage taken. That really might buff self with power charge when art hits. And what's this other one? Million flash? Uh that puts bleed on a target. Um, this one has a very large recharge time at 26 seconds. I kind of feel like having a stance art might be better. And, okay, so this is how... This is how I swap Noah's art to the Infinity Blade. Okay. Alright, that, that makes sense. Um, so... Hold on. So, what, what I'm a little confused about is that... Um... I did find a couple gems just out in the wilderness. Are those... I? They seem to just be the same type. Uh, there's probably going to end up being a lot of heroes as we go through. But don't worry, I won't make you wait any longer. It's time to get this shiny thing behind the supply drop. Oh, and this shiny thing to the side of the supply drop. Oh, and those three shiny things on top of the rock, away from the supply drop. Okay. No more messing around. I am just as interested to see what's in here as you are. I'll need a hand here. I'm on it. Alright! So we've got hero gloves, uh, a gemstone, tailwind one, which... Oh! Oh, is that because I had the, uh, had the ingredients for... Uh, for Tailwind 1 penned, and I just never turned off that pen. Oh, can't skip travel there right now. Can I skip travel here? Well, let's go to this camp first. Uh, apparently something's gonna happen as soon as I get back to camp. Uh, hopefully whatever's going to happen does not involve it being brutally attacked by Agni and troops. That would really make things rough for me. Um, uh, 
So, I don't think I have anything penned. Eh. Whatever. Let's move out. You know, I couldn't help but notice that while Ethel was busy talking about, you know, how important it is to, like, protect her people and whatnot, she did decide to have her folks set up camp, like, right next to the giant earth-shaking death dinosaurs. And I'm not sure why she did that. Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! Yes? I look for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, ma'am, I'll... Uh, wait. No. Oh, no, no, you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just... Please. I did this for everyone. I know, but you didn't have to do I it alone feelings, and without but... saying a word. Ugh. Well... I suppose at least you're unharmed. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Travel with us nah, and teach us your it. skills. We are acting of our own free will. <laughs> then to reward your efforts, I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Excellent. Give us your army. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. I, I mean, we are operating in a bit of a strange middle ground here. Like, Ethel. they're definitely not ready to act against the interests wrong, of Noah? their nation, but... I was thinking about what you said. They're not quite the willing... actions you believe to be correct don't always don't lead know. to good outcomes. It's, it's tough to see. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, you helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I'm certain of, actually. No. Aw, Noah, yeah. you're so sweet. Teach us your and skills! We really thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname. I mean, you're already wearing a silver coat, so... You're... I, I'd say you're doing pretty good. All things considered. Alright, we have finished the hero quest. May our alliance last. Okay, and then that popped up. Sure, I guess I'll press A to class inheritor. Noah. Class flash fencer roll attacker. Uses, using buff arts is advised before deploying other arts. Talent art raises the attack power. So make sure to perform roll actions. Uh, complete... What was that? Complete a hero's quest to have them permanently join the party. Deepen your affinity with a hero to allow your main party members free use of that hero's class. Once a hero formally allies with you, the party member designated as that hero's class inheritor will gain the ability to assume the hero's class too. Other characters can still acquire hero's class by fighting alongside that hero or any party member who has learned and set that class for themselves. You can check how close each party member is to gaining a class from characters. Yeah, I've noticed from how much it fills the icon. The more members you have using classes you want to learn, the quicker you'll be able to teach them to the rest of the team. So take note of which classes you have set. 
go to Characters Clothing in the main menu to change how characters appear in game. Class equipment unlocks for cosmetic use at rank 10. With some equipment, your current class's weapon may not appear. Okay, so... Uh, I would actually... Oh my god, there's so many things. Wow, it, uh... Woo, you are throwing a lot of spoilers at me right there. That's a lot of potential classes to unlock. Okay. Uh, know what? The You're going to, to be a fencer. Uh, and... I think Lons... Lons, I think you're going to have to take over as our oh, gun. Yeah. Got it. So, by clothing, how much am I actually able to, uh... Okay. So... It just changes to a full set. That's fair enough. Uh, interlink. I do have some soul points to burn. Can... Yes, I can unlock you found power. a slower... Ooh. Power charge for all... Wow. Wow. Some of these are really, real, yeah, uh, in increased critical, found power. increased critical sounds good. Uh, okay, wow, we have, we have a lot of things unlocked for you, um, wow. Uh, this one automatically revives anyone who's incapacitated. That one boosts healing? A new power, eh? That sounds like it's worth having. Uh, reduces heat buildup from cancelling one art into another art. Hmm. A new power, yeah, eh? wings of healing... Uh a new power, eh? Sure, why not? A new power, eh? So the Ouroboros forms actually get a really rather wide set of arts, don't they? No, no, they they still only get the six. Uh, but then they do get enhancement, so uh you guys are definitely the healers. So, uh, Typhon Field, objectively good. Uh, one random buff to all allies. And then, um... Uh, Reducing enemy accuracy? Yeah, that seems like a, like a pretty good one. Uh, what is this bounding in? Okay, so it's just a frontward AoE with a 50% to be unblockable. Uh, attack down... Not really feeling it. I think bounding in interests me more. Uh, what does Titan Fist do? Oh! Okay, it completely prevents them from blocking. And blows them down. Uh... That's actually really freaking good! Uh, okay. And then we've got some points to burn on you as well. Um, uh, increased attack power. Check out this sick new skill. And then 
I guess that's as far as I can take it for them right now. Interesting. All right. So that's pretty cool. No, the the quests are not done. I think. Uh, is there any new... Oh, oh, I see a conversation. I'm sure you heard the recon report, right? The one about the husks being scattered all over? Right by Singbree's funnel, right? That slack brain in the middle of monster territory. I pity those poor snuffers. Okay. Got some useful intel out of that. Yeah, we got some husks that need to be sent off. Uh, anybody in here need to talk? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't think I have any other quests active. Uh, aside from the no pawn register. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no, no you go. No you don't, Kakucha. You are going to talk to me. Alright, let's have a conversation. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Unsent husks. I think we need to discuss this. Hmm. Something bothering you, Noah? Your brow is awfully furrowed. Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was making a face. Is there something on your mind? Yeah, it's nothing too important, though. Oh, really? Sure you're not remembering the thing about the husks? Oh, yeah, that has to be it. Uh, yeah, we know. There's husks. Uh, Singbury's funnel... Dangerous to send them off, monster territory, really bothering, yeah. Sure, go, get some husks, send them away, play a flute, uh, proper send-off, yeah, thank you. Okay, we got a quest. Melody of Mourning. Uh, should I go do that Time's first? Over. Nah, screw it. Let's advance the main story. Let's at least, uh... Let's at least see where the game wants to push me next. We could do with some food. But first, important thing. We uh, must clean our clothes. Because again, for some reason, that's a bug. <sighs> I was getting kind of sleepy. Mm. Poor Mio. Another bit thinner, I think. Probably. <sighs> Best bath ever. Hmm? You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty one. Are you sure? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again. I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. Are you, uh, embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to I be. mean, in this area, Ms. Ethel maybe. thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath had been empty. Oh, wow! That was actually incredibly... Uh, yes. I that was actually that. very, uh, very considerate of her. I guess maybe I will take a dip. A girl. <sighs> okay. Don't wait for me. All right then. Have a good one. So, I... like, if I touched your yeah. hair, good night, Sana. Like, is it actually hot to the touch? Like, is your hair putting out heat, or is that more of just a general visual effect? Hi, Moon. 
Are you going to be involved in the story somehow? They should be finished clearing the landslide soon. We'll be able to set out for the Ribby Flats. Colony 4's engineers are excellent. They took care of that faster than I thought they would. I guess we'll be saying bye-bye to Colony 4. Ethel and the others have been good to us. I'd like to see her before I go. Yeah, I want to do that too. Guess we all should. Let's go mob commit. That's one way to put it. Uh, Solony calling the problems folk Colony folks' problems will deepen your affinity with them. This can be done by complete quest filling, collect the PDA card requests, etc. Raising your affinity with a colony grants affinity bonuses to make your adventure easier. Really? Okay, what kind of bonuses? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Actually, really, really useful vo uh, bonuses. Holy crap. Um. That is objectively worth my time. Wow. Time I like time. that. Yep, we got places we need to be. Uh I've actually almost gotten this colony up to second level of affinity. I'll bet I can hit it if I finish this husk quest. The secret to Ethel's strength is in her talent art. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think... I think I want to go finish this quest, increase my affinity level with the colony. And, uh, did... Did I unlock any, uh, any Collectopedia cards from there? No, all of that is still... Oh, no, I did. Um. Okay. Huh. Uh, I could use one silver coin That's and turn in this one. That's good for 75 affinity, one colorful feather. And that is rank two, I believe. So I finally get to go down this path and see what I can find. What kind of place is this? Well, I'm no expert. But I think it's the Spring Breeze Funnel. Oh, please, really? Ropples? You think you're any threat to me? Ooh, we're really getting up toward the fingers now. You know, I don't think I've said a phrase like that since I played Elden. Oh! That was an Agnian colony it just showed me. The Ellie Ice Highway. Such is the really? There's another colony up here. And with that, I think our job is done. What say you, Noah? Yes, I think so too. Thank you for all thank you all for helping me with this. 
that should bring a little peace to those who fell part way. Yeah, I really hope it does. Quest complete. It's a good feeling, isn't it? And we have now reached all wow. Well over halfway through rank two already. Oh. Uh you are in the level forties. Uh probably don't want to mess with you. Can I run past though and hit some kind of a land? This is new. This Hit is a decent, right? Clef. There's an ether channel. I would really like to get some kind of a landmark here, so that it will be easier to reach later. I'll claim the ether here. Oh wow! So the desert area was one thing, but. It looks like we've got completely different types of, uh, of geology around the actual fingers of the fallen arm. Huh. Yeah, uh, Ooh. we might want to rethink taking on that one. Uh, can I sneak through... Alright, I think... Really? Well, screw that. Oh! Okay, that's a goggle. Yeah, I think I can still manage to sneak through. Uh, no. No, I can't. Why am I doing this? I am gaining nothing from this foolish activity. These things are so strong. Yeah, nope, nope, not doing that. Okay. God, it's beautiful. Okay. I think... I can sneak here around the side. And they won't quite be able to see me. These Ignas look better than they ever have. Um... Okay, no, just, just keep going down the main path. Remember, my priority is trying to find... Uh, some kind of a landmark. Something I'll be able to fast travel back to. Ah! Uh, well, there's a soldier husk. I might as well hit it while I'm here. Huh? What's that? I know it's grim, but it needs to Yeah, there's de- Oh, no, those are Agni and Ancavesi troops up ahead fighting. Well, that's not good. Okay. Well, obviously there's no way I can help with that conflict, so... I'm just gonna have to run past you... Um... No, I'm really not... Unless I can slink by the side here, I won't actually be able to get any further. Okay, I was able to get even further. God, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh! Wait. Wait. 
Nope. That wasn't it. Okay. There. What? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Okay. Now I have a fast travel point. Uh, I'll be able to return to that at my leisure. Uh, in the meantime, has raising my affinity to level 2 unlocked more things to hear about? Uh, hello? Anybody got new things to hear? Maybe... I don't know, Any anybody? Did it actually unlock anything at all? No. Well, that was useful. Glad I spent the time to do that and ran headlong into dangerous territory with little to no chance of actually surviving. Don't mind me. Okay, here's some more. Hello. I saw an old Pharaonis gathering dust at the Hanag Desert. An old Pharaonis? It's busted and won't work anyway, right? Oh, it is absolutely worth me going there. Oh, I am definitely heading toward a busted Pharaonis. Who knows what kind of crazy crap it might give me. The music is so beautiful. Xenoblade music is always beautiful. Hi guys! I'm here! Once you enter the office, you'll be unable to include Ethel in the party. Yeah, just go ahead. Let, let's progress. I have to ask, before you go, why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. Yeah. At this point, I suppose, it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once. And yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized. But that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. Mm -hmm. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Very true. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now every one of us has to. There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now you're pushing forwards towards a common goal. And that, that might be all we want, and all that we wish the world could be. What we wish. It could be. Ethel, you're pretty sweet. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, That's gonna be sure? an awkward report. Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The Consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? Because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the Consul, we can say he died in an accident. Ugh. Nobody is going to buy it. That. Now that the Consul and Flame Clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report, and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies, too. And what if... what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it, really? Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path, 
Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. I suppose. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. But listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. Kevis or Agnes, that goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would... well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do. Even mm. within this colony, many still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight, as you'd expect. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? <sighs> yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes, for the greater good. Absolutely. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. Ouroboros, huh? If only we could have been there as well. Hmm. We should check the route data again. Make sure we're on the right path. We're on course for Sword March. First, we'll need to take the southeast road through Ruby Flats. Yes, that's the route that Ethel recommended. Correct. She said the battlefronts are pretty static at the moment. But do we have any intel about colony deployment? As far as Ethel and Falony 4 is concerned, we've got a pretty good idea. But what about any others? I wouldn't expect any shenanigans all the way out here. In any case, we mustn't let our guard down along the way. Danger could be lurking anywhere in the background, so insecurity stalks us. Not much we can do about that, though. Aw, oh, come on, man. We'll muddle through. Let's hope so. Hey, I mean, if we run into another colony, it isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, are you sure about that? It doesn't matter if we run into Agnes or Kevis. Either one would mean getting into a dust-up. True, but what I meant was, if we destroyed their flame clock, we'd set everyone free, like we did for Colony 4. We just went over this. Easy to say. Well, sure, I mean, if conditions allow it. If we're brushing off embers, we'll have no choice on the matter. That's right. Hey, maybe it's better if we put off worrying about that until the time comes. You need speaking sense there. Nice pants, Lons. True, we can just react to events as they happen and play it by ear. Gotcha! I'll apply myself to that. Destroying a colony's flame clock will liberate it from the console's grasp. Once liberated, the people are free to act how they like, opening up new info fragments to find. Every time a colony is liberated, the warning level of its nation, Kevis or Agnes, will increase. The warning level for each nation can be checked in the main menu. As the threat level increases, so too will the number of soldiers from each nation deployed on the field. You can now check how various people in a colony get along with each other. Oh, no. Using the affinity chart, it also shows you a basic profile for each person. 
Oh god, no. No! Oh, this is a world map. Finally! Oh, those are absolutely the remains of a titan. And over here somewhere is... Sword Mark. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh, there's gonna be so much crap to unlock. <laughs> Still, that is what I'm here for, after all. So, right now, Agnes actually has a warning level of two. That's not the best. Okay, so I see a couple marks there. Uh, I think I've pretty much... Looks like I've pretty much, uh, gone as far as I can right now. Fight with oh. focus. <laughs> Looks like I have to check something Fight real quick. Come on, phone, do your thing. Uh, do, do, do. One second. Alright, sorry about that. Had to fix up something real quick. Now, I didn't actually get to fully explore back here. And I actually didn't fight any of the caterpillars. But you're in our way. Leave it to me. So, I can now inflict a bleed on the end. Oh, wow. I can knock out a surprising amount of, uh, damage with that. And here is my new fusion attack. The wide slash which has evasion on it. I definitely pull out a lot of aggro from this, though. Let's just knock it back. Did you see me in action, Mimi? Sure I did, Santa. You look great. Hey! You want to fight too? But you're in our way. How about a bleed? And then maybe a null slash. 
I'm about to cross impact. Come on, wide slash. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't uh, fully explore everything that was here on the uh, back route. Here where I was chased. Oh, come on. I do not have interest in being chased by a level 16 snake. There's a lot of, uh... We've been spotted. Alright, let's do this. Uh, hey, can you, like, hit the enemy, please? What the heck? There! I... I genuinely do not understand what I was trying to target. I don't know why that worked. Why that didn't work. There's a fusion. Wait for it. Cross impact. Alright, there's the AoE. And... The Saber Strike! Alright, there's another one. Whatever happened to not being careless? Well, that was fun. <clears throat> Caterpile syrup. <coughs> um so, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that, uh, I don't think I want Caterpile syrup. That sounds gross. It sounds really, really gross. If only you didn't charge off on your own. So, I don't think there's actually anything important over here, but, uh, I did want to- Oh! Oh! Okay, there's... there's a unique. Alright. I want to hit it from the side with my null slash. Not bad. So, does that power charge increase the power of my next arc? Yes, that is absolutely what it means. So, ideally, I want to use the cross impact right before my talent card. And bam. Yeah. And bam. Alright, let's bleed. Okay, so that's where the debuffs appear, underneath its health bar. Alright, we've got an Ouroboros going. Not bad. With Ouroboros healing, I should probably stay in the healing zone. Thank you, Yuni and Kion. Much appreciated. Thank you. Alright, back to the side. Hidden Thorn. Fusion. Fusion! Oh, yes. It's time for a chain attack. Let's apply all that I have learned. 60% chance to be unblockable? Hell freaking yes! Excellent work, Tyon. 
Uh, so... Uni can absolutely end this with this attack. And that will cause Tyon to be reactivated, but with even more power than he had before. Yep. Alright, so what do I want to hit you with now? Attack up for everybody. Yes. That is absolutely worth having. Okay. And then let's finish this up with Cedric. And that will reactivate Tyon again. With even more bonus power. And we are now dealing quadruple damage. Tyon is back at a 98. 60% chance to bypass defenses. So, I know that this is going to be my last go. Because my chain attack gauge has run out. But I'm pretty sure this will be my biggest one ever. Oh, no, the last one was slightly stronger, but that is still a hell of a lot. Anyway, let's finish this. Oh. Okay, so I, I think we can all agree uh, that my Ouroboros form there was definitely what let me win that battle. Definitely nothing else. Uh, definitely, definitely my Ouroboros form. That's the Binnel Cave area. Kind of just want to jump into the water here and finish filling up my map over here to the side. I can be a little anal retentive when it comes to those maps. I want them filled. Looks like there's actually something that cuts through from the, uh, north side there. Yeah, definitely. Well... Um... There's one more ether channel that's probably easily accessible. Just down here. And I will hunt down any uniques I see along the way, but other than that, I'm probably just gonna be trying to avoid things. The simple fact is that I'm already uh, a bit over leveled. Oh no, that. Uh, that ether channel's like up there. Oh, no, it's down I'll here. Claim okay. The ether here. Not bad! Brings me up to 19 and a half ether cylinders. Huh. Alright then. Time for actual progress. I can't wait. This is the area that we were approaching. Just something out. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be taking your vomit. Don't ask questions. This is a completely normal thing for people to do. I really don't care about the hawks. We're just gonna run through. Husks and a container up ahead. Ooh, that looks like we've got double elites up from that. Alright, sure. I mean, you really want to do that? Then on your head, be it. We've also drawn a bird into the fight.
huh. The damage coming from that bleed was actually relatively significant. And talent! Alright, double elite hawks? Yeah, I think I will take on double elite hawks. Thank the flame of finally Sounds like fun. Wilderness. Come on. Alright, start with the power. Then the AoE from the side. I'm honestly surprised we haven't pulled the other one in yet. Okay, now it's it. There's one fusion. There's two fusion. There's the talent. Not bad at all. Come on, almost ready. Fusion! We're at interlink level one. Fusion! And bleed! And slash! And hit him with some circles. Because I can. Thank you, Union Pile. Wow, we just decided to go ham on that guy, huh? Yeah. See if we can keep this up. All right. We got gemstones. A heavy-duty fire lighter, because for some reason that's a thing you can get. flame! I'll finally be free of this eager's wilderness. Oh, hey! I just realized I left something back at four, so nah, gotcha. Why, lads? Why? Oh! Oh! We got enemies up ahead. Oh no. Are they fighting against Agnes? Uh, no. It won't let me assist them. I actually have to assist the Fallen Force. Uh, okay. Everyone focus on the medic elite. I love how after all this talk about trying to avoid conflict, I'm just like, hey, look, people, let's kill them. Yuni went down. Or, Neo. Come on, come on. Alright, we got a tank or boy. Now we got... Crap. You are being a real pain. Okay, fine. Then we'll interlink too. You're being a real jerk. Alright, look. Ah, well, there we go. Thank you, Lons. Uh, sorry about the part where you, uh, died, but, eh, it's fine. Alright, here's an elite. Alright, we got bleed. 
hit from the side. And talent. Not bad at all. Let's give him a giant swing. There's a fusion art. Nope, stand in the attack boost. There we go. Alright, let's finish him off. There! I, uh... I, 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 uh... I did an uppercut. And I won. Because that's how uppercuts work. I better send them off. Boy, the people of Colony Four are really learning to like me. Got some more husks down this way. Uh, we're definitely nearing. We're definitely nearing the next story marker, and these are probably the very deserts where we heard that there is a uh, a Pharaonis hulk. So I'll need to keep an eye out for that. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. Something so valuable here. A bullet screen? What the hell is a bullet screen? Oh, good! I found the dies arch. Yeah. That's a good sign. Yes. I'd really hoped it would turn out to be nothing. Ah, oh, it seems someone else got here first. What? That gear must be a high rank colony. Uh oh. Slay the Ouroboros where they stand! Colony Iota. I'd love to see you try, mate! That's interesting, though. Holy crap, they are high level. Okay, focus attacks, focus fusions. We need to get down that heal. All right, drop them down. Okay. Uh, swipe, all right, yeah, the duo blade. Drop them down, drop them down, drop them down. There we go. And then kill. Okay, that's another one down. All right, focus on the scout. That's going to be another attack. Neo, your health's getting low. Let's take care of that problem. There we go. And spinning it. Oh, good. I found the Tepnos Heights. Of course. They were just patched the dies art. And BAM! Oof. Uh oh. Oh, that's someone new! Oh! What the? What was that? Pull 
back. I don't like our odds. They must be silver rank at least. Whoa, they're good. Crude fighting wastes almost all your potential. And you? Good judgment, but you're a bad quitter. Just as I'd heard, sadly. Well, hello, ma'am. A pleasure to meet you. Wow. That was really nothing more than you just gathering intelligence, wasn't it? Impressive. I knew it. Colony Iota. I've heard about them. I bet you have. Commander Alexandria is famed for her keen wit. How dare you take Dame Alex's name in vain, scum! We've committed no crimes. Uh, I suppose mm. you can prove that. Well... Proving a negative isn't really possible, but what you think you know isn't the whole truth. Hey, hey, this sucker. Sucker. Why would you do that? Alex. Senna. I'm so there. You know, I really feel like they might have actually listened to a few more words. Sorry to go off book on you folks. Snuff. That's enough. It will suffice for this little trial. You struggle for your lives in vain. Uroboros criminals. Those lives will be mine. This I swear. There are a bunch of morons just as we'd heard. And rude to boot. Indeed. But that might make for a fun reception. What you think you know is not the whole truth, huh? I do hope you'll tell. You are definitely going to be a hero, aren't you? Looks like we managed to lose them. Uh, what in Her Majesty's ever-loving cheekbones just happened back there? What Simply in put, Her Majesty's well ever-loving cheekbones? Inelegant, like war's ever pretty. They're efficient at stockpiling combat rewards. That's how they managed to climb to silver rank already. Ah. I heard they even share their supplies with other colonies. That seems kind of awesome. Sharing supplies? Why would they do that? It would prove beneficial in the long term, I think. Creating debts to strengthen ties with other allied forces does open up your options, insofar as battle tactics are concerned. Absolutely. And if that leads to better results in combat, you can get your hands on even more goods. What I'm getting here is that they're trouble. What yes. I'm getting here is and that they're worse. fantastic. Alexandria herself announced that they will come for us again. I bet us traitors would net them a hefty reward, huh? Oh, yeah. So how about we turn the tables on them, punch their lights out? Listen to yourself, you doofus. We're talking silver here, yeah? Well, whatever we choose to do, here's something to bear in mind. Colony Iota's commando group is made up of four units. Regardless of the precautions we take, we have a high chance of encountering them. We should consider our approach carefully. Well, in that case, in terms of sheer power, they're the ones with the advantage. We should avoid a direct confrontation. If we could just dismantle those commando units, it would help lower the colony's capabilities. And it might give us an opening to strike? Yeah, if it comes to that. But it basically allows us to avoid fighting as much as possible, right? I like that plan. No objections from me either. Personally, I'd hope we don't even meet them. Hmm. Good to add more names. Well... That was fun. Uh, anyway, let's go back looking for corpses. That 
was interesting. So that was just over here. Was I still able to travel further in that direction? Yeah. So that oh good to add more names. Okay, uh more high level enemies. Can I reach a landmark over here? Good to add more names. You? Oh. Uh, Agnes I some relations have changed. No. That's probably going to be... some relations have changed. <sighs> okay, fine. So, that's your... Huh. Alright. Whatever. Oh, God. Being a completionist, trying to actually fill up the affinity charts totally, like, out. completely, is going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh, I can check out this way a little bit. Head up these little cliffs. Ooh. Oh, look at that beautiful area we're going to. Well, there's still a lot of ground to cover. But we're going to have to do that on the next one.